What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John from the Gamer here. Welcome to you back to another episode of the Saga a lot. Hopefully, everything is going well with y'all. Today, we are going to be fighting one of them, and uh, it's a little bit of a scary situation for us, but you know, we gotta do what we gotta do to survive and to win, and you know, we gotta do, like I said, we gotta do our best. So, hopefully, y'all are ready for this powerful, powerful episode. Um, I'm ready, or as ready as I can be, and we're gonna take this on. So, yeah, so. Today, like I said, uh, we trained our team up to level 37, basically a piece. Um, Wynona's ace is level 38, so I figured, you know what, it's fine to be one level below. Like, what's the real harm in that? There really isn't, so we're okay. And, yeah, so... Am I nerve-wracked? Sure. Am I in that kind of we-are-gonna-lose mentality? Absolutely not. I, feel, I think we can take this on. I don't, do I think it's going to be easy? Absolutely no, it's not going to be easy. But, will it be a cool adventure? Yes. So, again, I'm very... I should be a little bit more nervous than I am for this episode. If I'm going to be completely and brutally honest with myself. Like, you know those days when you feel like super confident and you're going to like kill it and wreck it. And yada, 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 yada. That's kind of how I feel right now. Which, again, should be a little bit more cautious, but... What is cautious even? Like, what is the point for cautiousness? Um, <laughs> well, there's a big point for cautiousness, but, you know, it's fine. Um, but yeah, so how's your day been? Hopefully it's been well. Mine's been well myself. Um, we are just out here genuinely just having as good of a time as we can. And, you know, that's 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 the way that uh, the way we roll here is we try and have the most fun possible. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh wait a second. There it is. I'm like, I swear that should be, like, this is way easier than I'm making it out to be. It was. Surprise. <laughs> I've noticed I've done a good job at making things way more complicated than they should have been. In the first place. And so it's kind of been a funny kind of thing to notice. Okay, well, Barry's already level 39. Jesus, Barry, I didn't think that you were going to level up that fast. Um, let's get Spectre out here, even though I think that that was actually one of the last trainers that we actually are made to fight. There it is. Yep. See, I figured that was the last trainer we had to fight. Okay, so I was totally right. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and still leave with Spectre, just because I feel like Spectre's actually gonna be the right move here. You never know. You know, sometimes you're like, there's gotta be a right move here, and Spectre just feels like the right move, even though she could totally leave with the ground type, and I'd be screwed and have to switch. But, let's hope she doesn't do that, but there is a potential. She leads with a shelter. Made the right call. Let's go! Let's get him! As Don would say. Um, yeah, we made the right call on that. Definitely a W. We'll take it. That's that's a W in my book. Eevee. Nice. That's another easy W there. So I'm going to just superpower it. And Relicant. That's another easy W. And Barry's going to come in and wreck that. Let's go. Let's go. Super. Oh my god. That did way more damage than I anticipated it to do. Wow, okay. But still, and Cinderquill is the final Pokemon, which means that we can send in. Yeah, uh, I think actually Arm is probably better. Um, and then we'll surf that to death. What an easy gym. Let's go! Easy gym pipe. TM40, which is Aerial Ace, is actually beat up, which is much worse. Uh, but yeah, see, I knew we were... Okay, so that made that easy. That makes me feel good. We made a great decision leading with Spectre. And we're going to continue forth the chain as we are going to go ahead and try and get to the Lily Cove City area, I think, is the plan today, is to get towards the Lily Cove area um, and just have a great time there. I'm going to, like, quiet down because I'm using speed up a little bit more than anticipated, but... 
It is oh, all fine and dandy as long as I'm using it a little bit more sparingly than I am. Um, like that kills. I'm like basically using it when I know things kill or when I'm like 95% sure things are going to kill. Like right now, I know that's not going to kill. Plus, I didn't even know it had protect anyway. But I figured it wasn't going to kill. So there's no reason to use speed up on things that it's like, ah, it might not kill. Like, so on things that are going to kill, using speed up's a fine thing, I think, in my opinion. And, you know, it will. And it is going to sound better as we transition into a new generation here shortly. Um, so it's not like zipping by. Um, cause that makes a big difference, you know, when it zips by versus when it's not zipping by. It makes the music sound way better when it's not zipping. <laughs> when it's not the fastest thing alive, so. Oh, that's right, we have the smoke balls, so we can run away from encounters, like, instantly. Cool, I forgot about that. Um, but yeah, so in this episode, I want to get to the department store if I can move. Like, and if I can get to the department store, that would be my win of the episode. Um, is getting and surpassing the department store area. Um, we still got some encounters as well, so that's going to help us out in our journey in the long run as well. I almost used to wing thinking you're a fairy type. That might have been a bit of an oof, but luckily I didn't do that because if I would have, that would have been scary. Um, oh, okay, we're parish song. We're playing the parish song game. Okay, we're fine. Vector's level 37, and we beat the battle. Cool. But yeah, I'm trying to think of, like, what we have left in this... What we have in this episode that we have to do, like, per se. And the only thing that comes to mind... This is still not an encounter. Is the... Um... Is Mount Pyre. And then we do Mount Pyre. We just kind of figure out the Mount Pyre situation. And as we figure out the Mount Pyre stuff, um, after we get Nine Tails, it'll be totally fine and dandy. So yeah, so this is going to be a very simple episode, in my opinion. Or at least it should be a simple episode. Um, which is nice, because we needed a simple episode. Um, to take it off, to take everything off of our minds and get everything kind of assorted back the right way here um a simple episode is always nice and you know a lot of people when you look at it it's like okay would you rather have a simple or a, a difficult episode i think nine times out of ten i would take the simple episode only because then there's less stress and like nothing too annoying to have to like figure out um and you know figuring out things kind of is an oof sometimes uh, is that a petra berry i'm like 98 percent sure that's a petra berry Aha! I was right. I'm proud of the fact that I was right on that one. I actually was not 100% sure. I don't pick berries enough to really be like, oh, this is exactly what this is. I just don't, personally speaking. That's just not something I do. And because of that, it does make... <laughs> it makes things a little bit more intriguing when things go that way. Um, Vulpix, get out here and flamethrower the crap out of the Bulbasaur. You know, you get used sparingly, but you get used at least. Uh, I don't see a leopard berry there. I see an orange berry. That's the only one I actually know. So, yeah, I'm not going to worry about that. Of course. I, I don't know. I don't. I never understood how in the world that worked. I don't know if you guys do either, but I've just never in a million. Oh, no. I never in a million years no, figured out how the rotating trainers work, so I just don't mess with it. Cool. Nice critical hit. Oh, oh and well, you know, remember that meme that I was joking around about? That's happening sooner than I thought it was. Yas. Um, so, yeah, that meme's going to be added to the team very quickly. <laughs> Um, I don't really have anything much for a mine-in, per se. Not gonna lie, mine-in's kind of a pain in the butt to deal with, but we're gonna do our best to figure it out. Because that's kind of what we have to do. So. Blah, blah, blah. We're going about Pyre. And our encounter is a Shedinja. Well, I mean, hey, one, do you have Wonder Guard? I believe you're guaranteed to have it. Yeah, you are. Okay. 
I mean, no reason not to try for it. It really just it really metronomed hail. <laughs> That's the most John thing to ever happen. Of course, it metronomed hail. The legitimately only move that would kill it is if it metronomed hail or explosion. And that's what we got. <laughs> uh, a Lumberry. Ooh, that's really good. That's got here. We could have had a Mewtwo here, but no, we didn't. But that's fine. Like, I'm not too worried about that because, again, Shedinja would have been really cool to have. But the universe just did not want us to get it, and the universe just said uh, no to that. So, And if the universe tells me no, it tells me no for a reason. That's just how it works. Oh my gosh. I did not expect that Surf to do that much damage. Vaporeon's actually really good. Of oh, these might be the berries I'm looking for. These are Nana berries. That's fine. Nana berries are pretty pointless. So, we are in Lily Cove City, which is the city... Wow, we are making a lot more headway than I anticipated us making today. Um, but yeah, we are in Lily Cove. We're going to go ahead and deposit Kaylee. Um, place. I can't even do anything with the item. Is there like. DGs. You look at that way that they've like made this better over the years, and you're just like, wow. There's actually a massive difference when you look at the things from over the years. It's kind of insane when you look at the difference you're like what this this wasn't a feature back in the day like how was this not a feature like it should have been like but and then and they're like nope it was not a feature so like it's fine but um yeah we gotta remove the king's rock item take i can't believe a mining actually is what led to a kill like out of all mons a mining it's kind of crazy so withdraw i already have this is a primate by the way um so i don't need to worry about that i was i was like 89 percent solid on bringing out spiel um and that's what i'm gonna do is bring out sammy the spiel so i gotta have two pokemon that i have a nickname now um And yeah, so we're going to train this team up uh, after the May fight. The May fight's going to be kind of difficult. I can already kind of assume that. But uh, I'm going to do it anyway because difficult fights, you know? The only thing we do know is we have to deal with the Dragonite. But the Dragonite didn't have anything, so... I feel confident enough that we're going to be fine. I think that level 40 is her ace anyways. Oh, hop it? Hop it be easy, though. Uh oh, god. Effect Spore? Really? We did not need that. Plusle? Really? We just had to deal with the mining, and now we get a Plusle to deal with? Game. Why? Why you do that to me? Swellow. Ooh, Swellow would have been a tough one. But we got Spectre. So, Spectre. Gonna need you to Thunder Punch this thing to death which it did perfect and lastly it's that dragonite and i'm gonna keep specter in because last time it decided that it was a great idea oh it's got a system now okay well was there anything that could have harmed specter very much on this team no so i think it's still okay um uh, specter's gonna yeah specter's not gonna do a lot though oh assist tracks it's oh yeah sorry pedal axe Pedal Dance locks you for like two to three turns and then confuses you. Okay, so Pedal Dance was actually a really good thing. If we can get a para, that'd be great. No, it did not get a para. Darn. Confusion. Probably assist again. No, mirror move. That's fine. That's quad resisted. Oh, but we get para. 
of course we get parried. You know, the well, the first time we get parried, the second time we just don't, and it's fine. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the super potions that we have. We bought hyper potions, but it's better just to use super potions when we have, when we're able to. And yeah, I mean, assist. Uh, did it really just snap out of confusion? Did I just see that? It totally did. Of course it did. Because why would it not snap out of confusion? Dragonite, Thunder Punch, we Thunder Punch. It's okay. And we are good to go. Yeah. Woohoo. Okay, now we have the Lily Cup City encounter for, for funsies. Yes. Please pick the lotto ticket. I need to run numbers. None of the numbers match. Okay. I don't even know what happens if all, like, all the numbers match. And I, that's like a very rare occasion. I do know that. That I know that's like, it, like an insanely rare thing to have happen. But like what actually happens in that scenario? I actually really want to know. Um, like I know that there's got to be a line of dialogue that says something. Please tell me that there's a fire. If there's not a fire stone in here, I'm gonna be mad. If there's really no like access to fire stones here, oh my gosh! I oh my. TMs. I don't care about TMs. No. I did not get super excited to then have no stones. No, I refuse. These are just dolls. No way. Ah. Uh, oh, wait. Oh. Uh, uh. And this is stuff for your hideout. No. Oh, I'm disappointed. How in the world do you buy the... Do you, is there no buying of the... Stones? Whoa. Wow, I'm floored. The Lily Cove Museum. Wow. I mean, there might be another area that I just don't know of. I mean, I'm literally going into areas I've never been to before, but... Okay, well, this is a great spot to end this episode. And try and figure out where the heck goes I get the freaking stones. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you all so very much. Next episode, we're going to be going to Mount Pyre and doing all the Mount Pyre stuff. The encounters there, all that stuff. I'm a lit and then hopefully we'll have a Nine Tails because if I don't have a Nine Tails, if I don't have Nine Tails by the start of next episode, then there's nowhere to buy freaking Firestones, which means we're stuck with this dang Vulpix and be having it be a Vulpix and it'll never evolve into a Nine Tails, which would suck. Um, but anyway, love you all so much. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.